Hello everyone. In the second part of the set, we cover the proper subsets, universal sets, power sets, Venn diagram, union of sets, intersection of sets, and disjoint sets. So let's begin. Proper subset. If A is the subset of B and A is not equal to B, then A is called a proper subset of B, which is written as A is the proper subset of B. For example, if A is equal to 1, 3 and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, here the all element of A are in B, but the not all element of B are in A, therefore A is called the proper subset of B. Universal set. A set U is called a universal set. If all the sets under consideration are the subset of the set U, for example, if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is the set of 2, 3, 5, 7 and C is the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, then the universal set U should contain the, all the elements of A, set B and set C which is equal to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Power set. The collection of all possible subset of the given set A is called a power set. It is denoted by PA. For example, if A is the set of 1, 2, 3, then the number of set of A is equal to 3. And the total number of subset of A is 2 power 3, which is equal to 8. Therefore, the power set of A is the collection of all 8 subset is called a power set of A. What is a Venn diagram? Venn diagram was invented by an English logician John Venn. A Venn diagram uses overlapping circles to illustrate the logical relationship between two or more sets of the items. Often they serve to the graphically organized things, highlighting how the items are similar or the different. To draw a Venn diagram, we first draw a rectangle, which is called a inverse. The elements of the sets are written in their respective circles. Here you use the set of the number 1 to 12 and the A, B are the two sets which are represented by two circles and the elements 5, 10, 8, 12 are not in any set so we put outside of the circles 3, 7, 11 are the elements which are common in both so we put, the, put in the overlapping area. Operation on sets Union of sets. The union of two sets A and B is the set of all those elements, each one of which is either in A or in B or in both A and B. It is denoted by A union B. Mathematically it is written as A union B is equal to X such that X belong to A or X belong to B. For example, if U is the universal set of the number 1 to 12 and A is the set 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, 11 and B the set of 3, 4, 6, 7, 11 then A union B we put the all elements of the set A and B Intersection of sets The intersection of two sets A and B denoted by A intersection B is the set of all elements common to the both A and B Mathematically, it is written as intersection B is equal to X such that X belong to A and X belong to B. For example, if you use the universal set of the number 1 to 12 and the A is the set of the number 1, 2, 3, 7, 9, 11 and the B is the set of number 3, 4, 6, 7 and 11 then in the uh, A intersection B we put the all element which in both A and B. So 3, 7, 11 these elements are in both A and B. So we put this uh, element 3, 7, 11 in A intersection B and in Venn diagram the overlapping of the circle portion represent the A intersection B. Disjoint sets. Two sets A and B are disjoint sets if A intersection B is equal to 5. For example, if A is the set of the number 1, 2, 3 and the B is the set of the number 5, 7, 9 then A and B are disjoint sets because there is no any common element between A and B.